Hi again. Another one, third one. Determining a parabola's equation from a table of values. No, third one. Here we go. What do we do as a teacher to muck people up? We change the order around. So therefore you've got to change the order back before you can do the question. So the naught has the 19, the 1 has the 9, the 2 has the 3, and the 3 has the 1. And it's not a straight line. You can tell by the first differences in the moment, but they're not going down by the same amount. But let's go to the first differences. 9 take 19 is minus 10. What happened going from 19 to 9? It's gone down 10. 9 to 6 has gone down 6. 3 to 1 has gone down 2. I still really want to talk about this going down or going up, which is either increasing or decreasing, because I know people keep making mistakes, no matter what they do and say, they'll keep making mistakes on negative numbers. So what's happened to go from minus 10 to minus 6? It's gone up 4. What's it gone from minus 6 to up 2? It's also gone up 4. Let's go back over to our tables here from our first video. You can always recreate it, but you never have time in an assessment to recreate it. So it's really getting your brain used to see A plus B in 2A. Knowing part though, the teachers then will give you this section. Sometimes in the assessment, we'll get you to create that first. So therefore, get some marks for it. But let's go with this. There's C, there's A plus B, there's 2A. So there's C, there's A plus B, there's 2A. So C equals 19. A plus B equals minus 10. And 2A equals 4. So that's the obvious one. This is the second most obvious. If I divide them both by 2, I've got A equals 2. Now I can go back over to this equation here. I can substitute or replace the A by the 2. 2 plus B equals minus 10. Take 2 from both sides and I've got B equals minus 12. So what's my parabola? It's a 2 of x squared, so the a goes in front of the x squared, it's a coefficient of the x squared, the b goes in front of the x, it's a coefficient of the x, so that's minus 12 with the x, and the c is the constant, so that's plus 19. So there is that one, and one of the other things I did was this one becoming a 2. So there are little things that give it away, like they become 6, uh, they become 4. I was just thinking that if they both become 6, you've got a uh, 3 x squared and all those little things you can get one and one. Appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, please, uh, if you can take the time to press like and if you're interested, subscribe and you can get more of my videos as I produce them. Thank you.